Waka waka waka, what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch review and yes, we are back, yes, a little later than expected. Uh, it's been just kind of a hectic week here at the FC Finch studio, but nevertheless, we are on the case yet again. Let me move the camera up so we can see what we're talking about because on the table today, we of course have the talk of the town fans toys, FT54 Warthog, which is of course their take on a masterpiece grade power glide. Um, And uh, yeah, a real interesting a uh, boy here to say the least and everybody's got a little bit of something to say about him but firstly we're going to start off with being thorough we're going to take a quick spin of the box i've already had a formal unboxing for this video i'll put a link in the description down below so you can check that out but um let's get to it right away let me move mr power guide or mr uh, warthog out of the way and uh there of course he is uh right there i love the art on here he kind of got that being blasted away pose of course we have his alternate mode which is uh the a10 warthog the mighty aircraft and that uh, looks really really good fans ft54 fan story story they made in china ft54 warthog uh warthog in his uh a10 warthog mode he can Get a little uh, click and see the uh, video instructions and check those out. You got Warthog over here. And, of course, you got all the product shots on the back of all this guy does. And I'll move in close so you can check out his uh, bio and give it a quick read. So, uh, there you go. And without further ado, let's get a good look at Mr. Warthog. And, uh, yeah, so as I said in the video, um, the, the first thing that I noticed, and, and again, it's typical with most hand size stickers, is the paint. Um, that paint, uh, I, I absolutely love this thing. Uh, it's got a nice, real rich red on it and kind of a pearlescent, uh, at least it looks pearlescent. I don't know what pa paint this is, but it kind of has this pearlescent feel, um, on the arms, I, er, on the arms and the thighs. I really do dig it. So again, the paint just really, uh, stands out on this robot, uh, at first glance. Does have that fans toys, uh, heft even for a mini bot. So, uh, that of course is expected and welcome. Again, looking good. I mean, he, he, here's the thing. Um, uh, it, it, Excuse me. Power Glide is kind of a completion buy for me. I have never really been a fan of the character himself. Never been a fan. I mean, I'm indifferent towards the character. Let's say that. Um, and I've never been a fan of the design. In fact, a lot of season two designs just really don't work for me. I've never. I'm not crazy about the wings going over the shoulders. But it is what it is. And you know that. And fans' toys. You know they know that. And they try to get the best design that they can possible. Um, I love. Um, you know if you if you look at the cartoon and you see how the feet are done. I mean, the feet are just like kind of these geometric shapes of the cartoon, and uh, Fan Stories just kind of really, uh, really went to town on that. It looks really good. And believe it or not, this is all of the uh, rear uh, the uh, the rear wings and the fins of the back of the plane all folded up in this uh, magnificent shape. You can see on the bottom of the feet, of course, I got my QC pass. You can see there's part of them folded all up, and uh, I just think that's kind of cool how Fan Stories engineered that. Uh, but again, you know, the uh, wings over his shoulder by design on um, the back i mean a, a little bit of kibble but she got much back <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, a little bit of a mess down, uh, down here. So there is that. But, I mean, um, overall, um, uh, again, it's, it's, it's a product of its design. Um, also, uh, again, one thing I do like about this is, uh, th there's really not a lot of screws visible. Um, and, I mean, you know, Fans Toys is notorious for, um, hiding the screws. But, I mean, this bot really, I mean, you got some here, uh, some down here. But other than that, um, this is a really, really clean, um, uh, clean bot for the most part, given uh, what he does, what he has to do, and all that. So, uh, yeah, overall, I uh, I really do like him. And again, I like the nice hint of blue for the eyes there. Uh, looks really good. In fact, I like how the face in general is actually quite um, uh, it, quite distinct, given the fact that he's one of our mask bots. So, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, really, really cool. Moving on to his articulation, let's get right on there. So the head um, does rotate all around. I forget what it's on. It can rotate all the way around, though. Um, uh, it does look a a little bit up, a little bit down. Actually, it looks pretty much straight on, almost negligible. Um, the arms, oh, gotta 
pu push this back in. The arms all the way out to the side on a uh, friction, and it'll spin all the way around just like a very, it very spins very nicely. It's, it kind of has that uh, ocular back seal where it's it's not loose, um, it's but it's not too tight. He does have a bicep swivel. He does have an elbow that gets you over 90 degrees. Just again, hoo -ah! and then of course he does have wrist swivel a little bit of tight wrist swivel and of course his hands uh, just like all the rest of the mini bots they're just uh the four fingers on a hinge he does have a waist swivel um a very frictionless one effect i'm not sure there's any ratchets on this guy believe it or not <laughs> um uh and of course he does now i guess if you bring up the feature like this he does kind of have an app crunch uh, so, uh, but of course it kind of breaks the sculpted back, but hey, you know, if that's something you don't worry about, then, uh, don't worry about that. Um, next up, the legs are kind of restricted at the thighs, uh, but they can go in and out. Now, keep in mind, it does kind of push down on here. Um, if you want to keep this a bit pushed in, um, he is kind of restricted by his, uh, his little, uh, thigh cover right here. He does go all the way out for a nice flighty fusion kick, and oh, we'll talk about this later. And he, of course, he can go all the way back just like that he does have uh thigh swivel he does have a uh d single jointed or actually i think it is double jointed um uh th excuse me knee that'll get you 90 degrees just like that and then of course um his legs kind of detach themselves and go way down and then of course he does have a little bit of a uh ankle tilt uh not too sure about these but uh either way you can get you're not and, and again depending on what angle you're looking at them um you know they can look like one cohesive piece but if you're looking at them from the side you can see the the mess the uh all the all that's in there so uh but yeah and uh that is it for his articulation let us talk about his accessories and he does come with a few uh so first things first of course every autobot has to come with his uh blaster and it is pretty much the standard um uh g1 animation uh non detailed blaster uh just kind of a variation that we see with uh oh with a uh, trail breaker or aka outrider and uh, a few other bots and of course that will fit into his hand he's got a little uh tab right back there you can see you got a little tab at the back of the gun and that will fit nice and firm and uh, he'll hold that just fine just like that next up and i may have to use my handy dandy spudger for this part because he comes with the mask that's right you can have a little you could add another dude to your hoist goes to hollywood um, uh, party of course this is a very similar mask um to what you get with hitch uh just of course different uh method of restraint and how this works let's check this out so you gotta spin his face around and i like to use a uh a spudger um to get to get this started because this is a bit of a pain to, um, it, it starts off a pain but uh, again once you uh once you uh you get it started uh then it becomes a bit easier Let's see get i just nah. it's going ah. there we go and you can see we're spinning his face around. I think we had to do this for transformation too. Um, so that should be all kinds of fun. And then you just take the uh, mask and you're just gonna insert it into the slots right there. You want to use a plastic sponger and uh, it looks just as uh, goofy as every other bot that has these S. Kind of, I, I can kind of dig it. I can get on board with that. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to turn his face around real quick. And there we go. Back to normal face. And, uh, you know, I just want to say one thing about this. Um, As everybody knows, I kind of manhandle some of these figures. And uh, you, you got to hand it to fans toys. Um, uh, the, it, it's, it's really got no paint uh, space scrapage of anything and you know i had been pretty rough with this guy it's not the first time that i changed his face around so uh yeah um uh but anyway his final accessory well uh second to last there's one more for a vehicle mode we'll get to that in vehicle mode he comes with what fancies refers, refers to as a trestle a trestle yes and uh I, I i think we already know where this is going um uh this is for uh now unfortunately um he does not come with a flight stand. I know. Uh, I, this is my gripe about this too. Um, uh, all flight bots need to come with a flight stand. Not not a, buy a separate flight stand for an extra twenty dollars. A flight stand indigenous to the flight bot, uh, similar to what we got with uh, Soar uh, or uh, Sovereign uh, or Dracula. Flight bots need a flight stand. 
Uh, I wish all I wish all third com party companies would realize this. Give me a flight stand with my flight bot. Um, but either way, Fans Toys does give you the option for one for an extra twenty dollars. Yes, I will need to pay another twenty dollars uh, because I do have a Fans Toys slice stand, but it was being used to hold up my uh, Quietus uh, tune in uh, flight mode, as people have seen on my collection recap. So uh, of course, <laughs> I am taking, uh, I, I am disturbing my display to show this off. So and uh, how this works now? Of course, you know you got the uh, little peg right down here and the little peg right in to here um and uh, how this works is uh you have you can see you got this little slot back here and you got this little uh tab right here and what you can do is let me get the legs out of the way what you can do oh, 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 let me keep that what you got down here is you got the little slot right here and you got this peg right here and you're just gonna plug this into his butt just like that oh 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 there we go there we go plug it into his butt there we go and kind of got to get his uh, waist situated. And uh, there we go. And then what we can do is we can just kind of set that up just like this. Get it in there real good. It is in there quite firmly. And uh, yeah, and uh, hey, guess what? He can fly. He can fly. And you can kind of change it and uh, make it so he's uh, going to the moon or whatever, you know. And, and uh, I've had him in a few poses. He'll uh, he'll he'll hold in there pretty decently. Um, uh, but yeah, so he can fly. Um, and that is pretty cool. Again, um, I, I always love the option to use flight stands. I just think all flight spots need to come with the option indigenous to themselves uh, i will never let this argument die i'm sorry i shouldn't have to pay an extra 20 dollars um uh for a flight stand option but alas i will eventually uh because i'm gonna have this spot displayed in doing some flying stuff either in robot or airplane mode speaking of which we'll get to that shortly and uh, that being said that is all for his accessories and lastly, but not leastly, one final feature. He does indeed have a heart. That's right, dude. He'll show it to you. He will show you his heart. He will show you the shape of his heart. And you just kind of got to pull this. Oh, that came apart really easy. Just got to kind of give you right through that gap there. And uh, yeah, and uh, there it is, uh, of course, from uh, the girl who loved Power Glide. You got some nice uh, circuitry detail right here. Looks really good. They kind of, of course, a nice heart. Aw, isn't that so precious? But it's wrong! All right, and uh, there you go. And that is it for uh, accessories and gimmicks. And let's do a few comparisons. So firstly, let's get um, the boss bot in there. And let's just get Sunstreaker in there, MP39. So we can see how he looks with a couple Takara bots. And let me move the camera out and move it up so you can see how that looks. And that looks pretty cool to be sure. Next up, let's get these guys out of here. Let's get a few of his uh, Season 2 mini bot brethren in there. Let's get uh, MP whatever he is, uh, skids, and of course, let's get uh, Fans Toys uh, spin, uh, spin Drift 2.0 or Sea Spray, and we can see how that looks, and again, he looks right at home with those guys. I love how that kind of colors, because you got the blue, the blue, blue and yellow, and the red. I love that. And lastly, but not leastly, let's of course get him in there with a Decepta Creep airplane. Let's get him in there with a MP52 Thundercracker so you can kind of see how he looks with a Decepticon plane and again that looks really cool. He's a little guy but he packs a big punch so just watch out Mr. Uh, Thundercracker. Get out of here! And uh, yeah, that is all for comparison. All right, and let's get him all transforming up into his flight mode and uh, yeah, right about for that uh, first step Turn the face around. I'm not going to spend five freaking minutes turning his face around. So uh, there you go. You already know that that's the first step. And just an FYI, we're going to continue with the rest of this. But um, it is kind of a uh, involved, bordering, frustrating transformation. So just uh, bear with me. I'll try and show everything the best I can. Uh, so what we're going to do, the first thing is here, you're going to kind of break his wrist up. And then what you want to do now, I could never um, do this. You just want to kind of pull. This is going to kind of come outward. It kind of double hinges out. Just like that. I can never do it with the wrist in. So uh, before we put the wrist away, um, you kind of want to pull that out. Next up, you're going to put the hand to a fist, 
fold the wrist inside so this is the wrist box it wasn't here now it's out here and this you can just move out of the way you're gonna flip the arm up like this and you're gonna kind of bring this down on this uh hinge right here and it's gonna kind of fold in on the arm so you can see how that works and it's just gonna kind of engulf the, you're gonna kind of fold it it's just gonna kind of engulf his whole arm uh just like that so uh, there you go that'll be his little uh his little side pod um uh in the jet mode and uh, next up what you want to do is uh you can kind of if this hasn't done already you can kind of bring it out. i'll show you on the other side real quick you just bring it out double just double hinges outward just like that and uh you can actually pull this off the hinge there's like three separate hinges so this hinge tabs into here and this tabs into here and you can kind of pull it off you can kind of fold this up this will be used later and uh there you go and we'll do the other side real quick off camera so now it's looking just like this and you can already see where we're going with this so uh first up what you want to do is uh you'll see this hinge right here you just want to kind of move the wing back across this like this and then you can fold out this aileron and if we bring the ring up you will see that it comes with the little uh landing gear to get attached and what you want to do you have this little thing this little uh divot here it's just going to go right over right here um now it is going to feel a bit tough it's not gonna feel great and it feels even worse when you're taking it off and there it is just like that and then what you can do is you just kind of bring this out and you just kind of this is gonna flop right all this stuff is gonna flop out who am i kidding and uh, you got two divots here and here you're just gonna put this in just like that and then you're gonna oh, hold on then you're gonna tab this aileron in right here and uh, there you go then you have a wing all done and we're gonna do the same thing on this side so now he has the wings of justice and i just want to point one thing out right here so um uh this pad this pad right here this is a common issue i'm seeing um uh the screws right here are too small this likes to fall off yeah yeah i know i've heard 150 shrimp break i i don't care i don't care uh both mine have fallen off but this one is more common i have already glued this side yeah it, it's kind of on side i'm again i'm rough with my toys but uh, again you can't see it for the most of the time and uh i don't care so again i did have to glue this one on and that's really all you do this paddle glue in here just fine get some gorilla glue get some loctite and that will sit just fine after you do that but just if why if this breaks off it's not the end of the world don't worry about it and sometimes uh, this little uh hinge piece likes to go with it so just something to be mindful of so next what we want to do is uh, you just kind of want to open up the back here and this entire uh chest steel piece is going to double hinge outward just like that you can bring up the cockpit uh, spin it around just like that and then you have a little piece in here that carries the Oh, 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 hold on. Not coming up. Ah, hold on. Maybe I need to open up the bottom first. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can open up the bottom here, and this will all fold out just like this. You see, you got the Gatling gun. And now, let's see if this will come out. We need a spudger. We might need a spudger. Ah! There we go, just like that. And uh, so that's gonna be the back of the cockpit. And then you can just kind of move this up just like this. And then what you can do is you can, this will tab in, you got two tabs right under here. Oops, shake the camera, you got two slots right here. And uh, that will come up. Pull the head out just a wee smidge to get it tabbed in there. Just like that. And there you go, and that is the cockpit pretty much now this will come apart um all through the transformation and then what we can do is we can kind of open these up right here and uh, you can see you got two uh, little catches right here and you just kind of bring this back just like this will fold the front landing gear up let's kind of bring this back this is all out of this double hinge and uh we can lock this in right here in a bit well wasn't this fiddly off camera at least not at this part um and there we go there we go and then you just close all this up and uh so there we go now we basically have our cockpit all pretty much done so next up what we want to do is we want to uh 
pull his waist apart as if he wasn't floppy and fiddly enough already. Uh, we want to pull his waist up and kind of pull him up like this. And then what you can do is you can see that your uh, little side skirts, they are in kind of a double hinge. You want to bring those down. Those will also form part of the fuselage. Also kind of make sure that this is rotated uh, thusly. And then what you can do is you can lift up the uh, thigh pads and this will not feel great. Um, you just got to kind of pull his waist down so it goes just like that same thing with the other side doesn't feel the best because this needs to really thin him out uh just like this so get these out of the way just like that um now at this point you could put the wings in but i am going to leave them out uh because it's quite frankly it's just a bit easier to work on uh without them in so we're gonna get the uh legs unpacked real quick and then we will go from there so let's focus on the legs. So firstly, what you wanna do is you wanna pull this out and then you wanna pull out again. There you go. So you got that little metal piece showing. Yes, I know this is kind of, this is, this is really icky. It doesn't feel great either. And then what you wanna do is you wanna rotate, the, you want this side of the legs up towards the, uh, excuse me, rotate them back or excuse me, rotate them towards the other side. You want this side of the leg with the screw up towards the top of the fuselage. Just kind of get it in that orientation to come back. Next up, what you're gonna do, it's okay if the foot flies around like this. You're gonna unwrap his leg. And what we're gonna do again, you gotta kind of move the foot. So you bring this piece down, as this piece was here, you bring it down on this hinge. You can see it tabs in right here when he's in robot mode. And uh, then you can bring this piece Oh, out off here, just kind of tabs into this area here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this hinge out. It gets packed right in here. And then you can kind of flip that around. Uh, what you wanna do is you want to uh, flip this, uh, this fake engine in. This will go in right here. And then one thing you can do is uh, just to kind of get this ready is you can kind of turn this just like this oh. and you can bring up the hinge and this will kind of sit just like that so again he's facing up like this and you got him sitting just like this we'll do the same thing we'll start taking apart the leg on the other side so real quick this is the part where i may go do some of this off camera i'll try and explain what i'm trying to do but this is just very difficult to explain so you want to get these orientated to where the sitting the open end is like this um and then of course you have the feet uh, the feet out here they're sitting very open-ended uh the screws uh the side with the screws on the thighs are facing towards the top of the fuselage and then you have the uh legs pulled out all the way with that metal rod and they're kind of sitting like this so what we're going to do next is we're going to attach the wings now uh this is kind Kind of a pain in the butt the wings are going to tab in you have a tab right here it's going to go right here and uh then what you're going to do is you can see you have a tab right here it's going to lock into this side uh you're going to bring down the lay the uh, leg flaps and they're going to lock in right there now these might come out because as you can see there's nothing supporting this so again i'm going to try to show this as best i can on camera and if it don't work it don't work we may go off screen for a while and there it goes so that tabbed in right there just like that and then you're going to tab this in right just like this and that will stick in there like that so we'll do the same thing for the other wing so we got that going on and uh yeah if you think this was easy trust me it was a lot harder the first time so either way um so now what we want to do is you're going to bring the this piece down you're going to kind of fold i forgot we want the hinges you want the hinge facing up like this, and then you're gonna turn. So you want the hi the hinge right here facing up like this, and then you are going to turn the uh, engine on the hinge so the engine can go up like this. And then what you're gonna do, so you want the engine sitting up like this, so that it's looking like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of bring this down on this hinge like this, and this is gonna sit right in here along this side. You kind of want to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to do that real quick off camera. But the goal is, and I'll show you in a bit, you're going to connect these two together. These are going to form the entire back of the fuselage. So I'll get this oriented correctly and, uh, off camera real quick. All right, so now here's the part where I might go off camera yet again. So these 
two rears of the fuselage, you're gonna, first off, you're gonna bring this down. It's gonna go right into here on this tab. You're gonna kind of seat, you're gonna seat this down and you're gonna see it's got a spot to go over, right over the thigh. And then you're gonna connect both halves. You got lots of tabs and slots and uh, pins. And also don't forget you have a, uh, you have these two connections at the bottom. So uh, we're gonna connect these both together real quick. And again, this is where I might go off camera because this is a bit of a pain in the butt. I think this is the hardest part about the transformation. And yes, yes, um, uh, the front half might come untabbed on you. So just FYI. Okay, so that went in. Yeah, we might go off camera because I'm not going to have you guys watch me fiddle with this. And yeah, see the wings are already coming detached. So that will happen. Don't get frustrated with it. Again, this takes time. This is an exercise of time. Um, la, la, la. I might do this off camera because, again, it's already, you guys already know what's going on. And uh, at least you should. And again, there are many other people that do videos of this like me. So, um In fact, I am on the lower end, so if you're watching my channel, you are supporting the underdog. Okay, and now getting this. Okay, so we got the rear of the fuselage. And then we're gonna about to get the front. Is she gonna go? Maybe if we take the, uh, yep, there we go. This one's kind of the worst one right here. This offender right here in the center. And again, you can just kind of see it's flapping all over the place. And you got these two tabs right here. They're going to, excuse me. You got these two tabs right there. They're going to lock into the sides right there if you can get them oriented. And I'm going to probably uh, do this off camera real quick. Um, just so you can kind of see the finished product because it is a bit to finagle. All right, so we got it. Oh, good Lord. All right, and I, you don't know how much time has elapsed. So uh, either way, um, uh, so again, you want to make sure this is all aligned. I hear the seam all aligned. You got to make sure it's aligned on the bottom. These tabs right down here should be down here. These, and yes, my wings came undone while I was doing it. These tabs on here should be done down, should be right along here. And what you want to do next is again, you want this tab going in right here, and then you want this piece, it's going to go in right over here. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to attach our wings, and they're going to come in, and then you're going to close in the uh, th they're going to get locked in with the uh, front skirt right here. We'll do it with the other one real quick. And there you go. So it should look just like that. No gaps. And again, this is a very, this is probably the most challenging part of the transformation. It, it is extremely challenging. It's extremely fiddly. Um, so now that we got that all done, we are, yes, on the home stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this out just like this. Um, these two pieces mount here. And I will say this is an actually interesting piece of engineering um, uh, because the, these, the rear wings literally just wrap around the foot here. So you're gonna fold this down and you're gonna fold this piece up and you're gonna see that it forms the outside of the wing. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate this piece around just like this. Excuse me, this will rotate around just like that. And you're going to open this up. And you're going to rotate this up. And then you can just kind of tab this in just like that. And then you want to rotate this down here. Same thing for the other foot. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of bring this out, give ourselves some room to work. We are going to untab the bottom of the feet right here. They will come untabbed. And we're going to bring this out just like this. We're going to fold this up just like that. 
and we're gonna tab those together and then we're going to bring up our rear of the wing and uh there we go so you should have both those looking just like that so this it's a bit hard to do but this rotates along here so what you want to do is you want to kind of bring rotate these pieces then just kind of rotate down and uh, what you're gonna see are you're gonna have a tab in here it's gonna tab into the back of the fuselage right down there and uh so you want to get that kind of lined up same thing on both sides and now these will just tab together oh. <laughs> eventually <laughs> just like everything else in this transformation it eventually will come together oh there goes our wing of course it does <laughs> this will not go into this slot right here And if it looks challenging, that's because it is. And uh, we'll get that cleaned up real quick. We got all those lined up like that. Let me get the wing one more time because these wings like to do nothing except fall. And hey, you know what? It's kind of interesting that uh, the wings actually didn't, the uh, one wing I didn't glue didn't actually fall off on camera. And make sure everything is nice and tabbed together. And there we go. Like magic. Oh, thank God we're done. Oh, you have uh mr warthog aka power glide in his very beautiful alt mode so we worked for it so let us get ooh, knock the camera so let us get a good look at this uh fighter mode and uh so right off the bat um uh i love it um lots of and not so fun times getting there uh the wings kind of want to bend a bit which i'm kind of okay with i mean you know because plain wings they do kind of they do bend uh when they are flying not much but they do bend um you can visually see it if you're ever flying in a 737 or something like that um uh but right off the bat um wow um so this is definitely not the tune model uh which i am 100 percent okay with in fact um i'm a i love the uh, a10 thunderbolt um and uh this is a beautiful beautiful representation uh the journey again not so fun but uh wow um what how cool how cool is that and again um you know some different shades of red here um i'm not bugged by it uh, again that red paint still really pops again still looks really good and you know what? i will give fans toys this um even though i'm not so big a fan of the transformation um it's i mean again I'm, i was ba you guys saw i was kind of you know begging parts to get all that good stuff so and this thing is still ticking like a champ so uh again credit words do um but again uh yeah let's just looks ultra beautiful I'm gonna get the nice uh cockpit uh lined up right here uh not sure if you could fit somebody inside in fact you got like kind of an opening there where the wheel goes up oh, it does have an open space here so i guess you could find it and eh, it might be a space i don't know i'm not even gonna try it but uh you can try at your homage i love how it has the red going down here nice chance clear up plastic for the dome love how they got the uh get the uh vulcan gun decal detail right at the front and of course there are his little arms as uh doing whatever they're supposed to do um in that mode and uh again i love uh again another nice detail here and how they come up the uh nice blades for the engines really love that that looks really really good done in a nice silver paint looks really really sharp um bottom i mean the bottom is kind of him all laid out but it's done really magnificently i think um again you just got his little pelvic area here for the most part but beyond that i mean it all looks like mostly fuselage and uh, I'm, I'm on board with it um uh so and yeah there we go for that now we'll just kind of jump into some quick details so uh, first off the landing gear does retract you can kind of push uh the landing gear back into its pegs there obviously the uh, front piece here and you just like kind of can you can kind of grab on you got these 
these little divots right here that you can kind of grab on or in worst case you can just open the cockpit and push it down from there and of course the rear wheel uh, does go down into the side just like that so you could kind of get some flying poses out of him he does have working ailerons um uh from either from either side so, and uh, I'm, I'm not too much of an A-10 expert to know what, what the ailerons, what ailerons are supposed to function, but uh, he does have working ailerons, uh, so that is pretty cool. And again, you can open the cockpit if you want um, for uh, just that added extra hint of detail. And uh, yeah, but uh, overall, um, again, really, really spectacular plane mode. I am, I'm on board with it. So uh, there we go. And of course, Fans Toys, um, uh, you know, he is a flight guy, so of course, uh, he does come with another uh, trestle, and where that goes is, uh, you see a peg right here, and uh, you see on the trestle, you got a little peg right there, and you got a hole on the front, and you got a little grappling, like, it'll just kind of grapple around his pelvis right there. Um, It stays on relatively firm, and uh, then you can get bring the stand back in, and you can kind of push this in like this. And uh, let's raise the camera up because this is pretty cool. And uh, there you have Power Glide or uh, excuse me, Warthog um, in a nice flight pose. And again, um, he's relatively stable. I was kind of messing around. Excuse me, almost said the F word. Uh, taking pictures of him, he looks kind of stable. He looks really, really good um, in the flight pose. Uh, it's only unfortunate that we have to separately buy a stand for that. But uh, again, glad they included the trestle because uh, uh, the Lord of the Skies needs to fly. So uh, yeah, and that is really the only accessory that we have for flight mode. And let's do a couple quick comparisons. So firstly, let's bring in our uh, standard Dakar Carbot, Mr. Streak, for a standard unit of measurement. And uh, there we go. And uh, yeah, I mean, so again, it, it, mini bot versus, you know, standard car bot car bot so of course it's not going to look entirely in scale but um i mean it, it does it, it, the a10 clearly a little bit bigger but um i'm not sure by how much i mean again it is a fighter jet so uh this this may be closer than we think but uh still uh pretty neat and of course we are going to compare planes to planes here planes trains and automobiles there he is next to uh, Mr. MP52 uh, Thundercracker, and let's get a good uh, frontal shot right there. And uh, I mean, if you think about it, he's pretty huge <laughs> comparatively. Uh, let's do a quick wingspan check. Um, uh, uh, let's see. So about 10 inches wingspan on a warthog there and uh that is pretty cool um to see and those are yeah i i i, I can get on board with this so i really like this and uh yeah there you go for a quick comparison so let's summarize and there we have it for fans toys ft54 warthog their entry into the uh masterpiece power glide arena i mean against all of dx9 and uh their whole army so there we go and um yeah so uh, this is a bit of a mixed bag so i'll try and content condense this down as much as i can uh first off great paint um, uh, I, I do like the design overall. Uh, I think it looks really good. I like the chonky bot design. I love the all mode. All mode is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I love you fans toys for going with the more realistic alt modes. Thank you so much. Please do that for your wind charger when you come out with it. Okay, thanks. Uh, that being said, um, transformation and this breaks my heart because I did not want to believe the reviews uh, that I saw before. And you know I'm a fans toys fanboy transformation is to plain mode at least is as much of a chore as they say uh, and i've done it a few times now uh it, it's just no fun anytime and it's mostly in assembling that rear fuselage uh, and attaching the wings uh, there really should be more locking points there because the problem with it is that hey, all these panels they just want to line up and they really got nothing when you're trying to lock the wings they got nothing to lock into and that makes the rear fuselage want to pop out uh, and everything to, needs to be exactly precise and if it's not precise, uh, it just all falls apart, and that just generally makes it no fun. I think there needs to be a little, uh, I, 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 this is going to be hard to say, because it needs a little bit more fiddle factor, but it also needs to lock in more, so uh, fans toys determine that however you will, if you're even watching. Um, uh, but that being said, uh, transformation back to robot is not as perilous. I will give it that um, uh, going back to robot mode. Again, you got those eek, those eek moments where you do have to pull on stuff, and it doesn't feel good, uh, but other than that, um, 
you know, it's it's really not as much of a chore. Also, additionally, um, I do feel a lot of the joints and the legs and whatnot. Um, while I do appreciate the engineering put into it, um, I, I feel like all the legs could have worked a whole lot better because uh, it does kind of make for a few limited poses. But then again, I'm just going to keep this guy on the shelf in one pose for uh, several months at a time. So, you know, read that how you will. Uh, that being said, that is going to conclude this review. Now, I did pick this guy up from the Chosen Prime. He is currently out of stock there, but I'll put a link there anyway because this may just be a first wave run. And uh, if you are most definitely interested, you could check them out. I'll put a link in the description down below. And that being said, if you found this review enjoyable and fun and helpful, click that like button. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. I didn't do much this week, but I swear I do much. Uh, well, I, I try and keep up as best I can. Uh, again, this is not my full-time job, so we're just having fun here. But that being said, uh, I'm going to end this review right now. I have been FC Finch. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Good night.